Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy and in this video we're going to be looking at connecting to multiple databases and displaying data uh, from tables within these different databases. Uh, now you can see in my browser at the moment I've got two unordered lists. One of them is displaying four names and one of them is displaying four locations. Now uh, in my tabs up here I've got a names database open with a names table inside and the four names you've seen. Uh, and in another tab, I've got another database open with another, obviously, another table within that, uh, and four different cities. So we need to, you know, establish how we're going to connect to two different databases uh, at the same time because we'd usually use the MySQL connect uh, function just once. Then we'd use the MySQL uh, select DB function to select a database. And obviously, we can't keep. Um, you know, going through our page, switching databases, because it's obviously uh, extremely inefficient to do so. So why might we want to connect to multiple databases? Well, for example, if you have a, a main site and then a, in addition to that you have a guest book or you have a forum and you want to integrate data from the two databases, uh, so, for example, if you had a forum and on your main website you wanted to display, let's say, the most popular forum topics or the most recent forum topics or the most recently registered member, uh, for example, on a PHP BB forum, you might want to integrate the data, then you need a way to, first of all, connect to uh, a database for your main website and retrieve data from that. Uh, and have the operation as you would. And secondly, you need to then connect to the PHPBB uh, database, for, for example, uh, and display data from that. So uh, I'm going to show you the long way around doing this. And the example that I've seen floating around the internet on uh, a few forums and, and a few tutorials, uh, which is actually you know not a great way to do it, but you know it's good to learn it anyway. Uh, and then I'm going to show you uh, a second example, uh, which is uh, extremely easier and a lot more efficient as well. Okay, so uh, we're going to head over to the text editor in just a moment, uh, and we'll start writing out the code uh, for the first uh, method of doing this. Okay, so we're over in uh, uh, our text editor, um, and we've got an index.php file and a connect.php file. So connect is where we're going to be connecting to our database uh, and then index.php is where we're going to be displaying some of this data. Uh, so you can see that in my browser tabs I've still got the names database open with a names table, uh, same with the cities as well. Uh, and obviously we've got nothing in the browser window because we don't have any code yet. Okay, so usually when we go ahead and connect to a MySQL database, we would use the MySQL connect function and would give this three parameters. So the first parameter would be the server that we're connecting to. Uh, in this case, it's localhost. Uh, and then the username and then the password. And because I'm working on a local server, uh, I don't have a password here. Uh, and we would usually set up some kind of or die uh, MySQL error, uh, just in case the connection fails for any reason. Uh, then what we would do is we would go ahead and use MySQL select underscore DB, and we would choose a database. So in the case of what we have at the moment, we might choose names underscore DB. So names underscore DB. Uh, and again, we can say or die MySQL error. Okay, so what we want to do is from index.php, we want to include this connect.php file or require it into our script. Uh, require, uh, since if we don't have access to this file, uh, we want to error and not uh, execute any more code. So um, this connect.php uh, file you can see is in the core directory within uh, this root directory. So it's core forward slash connect.php. Now assuming that uh, we've successfully connected to our uh, MySQL server and successfully selected this database, uh, we shouldn't have any errors appear on this page. So uh, when I go ahead and refresh, you can see that there's no errors. So how do we go about um, connecting to both of our databases? Uh, now obviously inside of index.php we could now go query equals MySQL query and inside we could go insert, uh, sorry, select, uh, let's say where have we connected to? We've connected to the names database so we could say select name from 
names. Uh, and then we could use a while loop. And this here doesn't equal false, just means while this condition uh, while this condition here doesn't equal false. So uh, while row equals MySQL fetch associative array from the query. Uh, this is probably syntax that you've seen before, uh, but we're essentially just looping through all the results from this query. So we're retrieving every name uh, in the order they appear in the database. Uh, and then we're going to say echo uh, row name uh, and finally we're just going to make a few modifications to this uh, I'm going to create it inside the unordered list so ul up here and then down here we end the ul uh, and we'll indent this for um, readability and then what we'll do is we'll add uh, the list um, each list item uh, inside of here and then refresh and you can see they've got Alex, Billy, Dale and Ashley uh, as that appears in our names database, so Alex, Billy, Dale, and Ashley. So if we want to go ahead and underneath this, uh, as we saw uh, at the start of the tutorial, list out the cities as well, how do we go about doing this? Because we've connected to uh, and selected a database. Now, one of the things that would be extremely incorrect to do would be to copy this line here and go ahead and say, paste that in there and choose cities DB and then under here go ahead and uh, select uh, data as well so for example uh, this is absolutely horrible way of doing it so select city from cities and then here city so we're doing essentially the same thing uh, and what we've done is halfway through our page we've uh, switched the database over now obviously it works but the first thing we're doing wrong technically is we are unnecessarily using resource because we're you know switching a database um, secondly if you had a lot of code and you kept switching through uh, it tends to you know get quite hard to keep track of what you're doing uh, if you were going to go ahead and you know keep switching you might have a header a footer you, you know, you're going to have to change a lot of times in your page. So it's an extremely bad way of doing things. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to keep these two, uh, these two queries here with the uh, results, but we're going to make some small changes. Now, again, the, um, the process that we're going to use now is not, you know, ideal, uh, but it is one solution. Uh, and in a moment, we're going to look at a really, really good way of doing this. So what we're going to do is we are going to create uh, a variables for each database connection and then base our uh, database selection on each one. So for example, I'm going to say names underscore DB equals and I'm making um, the MySQL connect uh, query the result of this uh, inside of this uh, names DB. What we're also going to do then is say cities underscore DB equals and we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Um, in fact, no, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're also going to pass an additional true parameter here. I'm not sure if this is required. It's written in the uh, php.net documentation. Uh, if you go over and have a look at that, uh, it'll give you a full ex explanation of this. Uh, I'll just indent here for readability. Uh, now what we're going to do is instead of, um, it's quite odd really because it doesn't logically make sense uh, when you do this, but what we're going to do is we're going to pass an additional parameter here and we're going to say names underscore db. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this line down and we're going to choose the cities db. So these two lines here remain exactly the same. We've done exactly the same thing for both. However, all we're doing now is selecting a different database, uh, database and we're choosing uh, this cities db connection. So what it's now done is assign this database selection to each connection. So Obviously, this well, this is going to work now, and we're going to take a look at how we um, use oh, how we use queries based on these different connections. However, you can see that we we're sort of duplicating um, code here, which is in programming an extremely bad practice to duplicate any code. So we're you know running this twice, and then we're selecting two databases. So 
this is a solution and it's a better solution than switching halfway through code however it's not ideal so let's go over to index.php uh, so name we want to utilize the names database connection so we provide an additional parameter to the mysql query and we say names underscore db and then we obviously do the same thing for here but we choose cities db okay so now what we can do is when we refresh it's the same okay so we've got exactly the same result uh, we've just connected to two different databases and we've not switched halfway through so if for example you wanted to go ahead and you know um, display this out again later down in your page uh, you can do so without having to you know switch back the connection okay so this is all well and good we've uh, you know found a, a better way to do this however there is an even better way so I'm gonna uh, get rid of uh, this here um, in fact let's just start again we might as well and I'm gonna get rid of um, this I'm gonna keep the mysql connect just that okay that's all I'm gonna keep I'm not using the mysql select db function uh, I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of true there. So I've connected my uh, MySQL server and that's it. I haven't selected a database uh, at all yet. I'm going to select a database from my query. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and refresh the page. We've got a successful connection. We haven't seen any errors. Now I want to go ahead and perform a query. So I'm going to structure my query like this. Inside, I'm going to say select name from now normally we would say names okay because that's the name of our table however we don't have a database uh, selected so how does it know where this table is it doesn't know it can't work out uh, mysql can't work out that uh, this names table is within names db so what i want to do is here i want to specify something dot names which is names underscore db Okay, so now if we perform a while loop and in here we say make row equal to fetching uh, an associative array of our results and then we say echo out. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to echo out uh, row name and then I'm just going to do a line break. Um, when we come in here and refresh, you can see that we've selected from a specific uh, table. Now, if we go ahead and we copy this, and we come down and we paste that down there, but this time we want to select city from citiesdb.cities. So select the field from the database table. That's a good way of thinking about it. Uh, and then obviously we want to change that data there. When we go ahead and refresh, you can see that we've got the four cities uh, on, uh, just below the names. So obviously this is a really, really good way of doing things. Uh, you could perhaps store these uh, values here in variables in your um, in some kind of you know initialization script or setting script, uh, which would be extremely useful. Uh, but that's it for now. We've looked at uh, an awful way of doing it, uh, a slightly better way of doing it. Uh, and probably the best way of doing it in terms of uh, selecting multiple database tables or multiple databases.